Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth, and a tractor was hard at work as Thomas puffed along. Later, Thomas saw the tractor close by. Hello, said the tractor. I am Terence. I am ploughing. I am Thomas. I am pulling a train. What ugly wheels you've got! They're not ugly. They're caterpillars, said Terence. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. I don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas. I like my rails. Thank you. Winter came with dark clouds full of snow. I don't like it," said Thomas's driver. "A heavy fall is coming. I hope it doesn't stop us." "Huh," said Thomas. "Soft stuff, nothing to it," and he puffed on, feeling cold but confident. They finished their journey safely, but by now the country was covered. "You'll need your snowplow for the next journey," Thomas said. His driver. "Huh? Snow is silly soft stuff. It won't stop me." The snowplow was heavy and uncomfortable, and made Thomas cross. He shook it and he banged it, and when they got back, it was so damaged that the driver had to take it off. "You're a very naughty engine," he said to Thomas. Next morning, Thomas's driver and fireman came early and worked hard to mend the snowplow, but they couldn't make it fit. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it. He puffed to Annie and Clarabel, but they were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right. They whispered to each other. The driver was worried too. It's not bad here, he said to the fireman, but it's sure to be deep in the valley. Silly soft stuff, puffed Thomas. I didn't need that stupid old thing yesterday, and I shan't today. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel, thinking how clever he was. But there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes," said Thomas. "I am stuck." And he was. "Back, Thomas! Back!" said his driver. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun, and he couldn't move. The guard went back for help, while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels and coupling rods! I shall have to stop here till I'm frozen. What a silly engine I am! And Thomas began to cry. At last, a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Terence? Snow never worries him. He pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Terence tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged, and at last dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for the journey home. Thank you, Terence. Your caterpillars are splendid," said Thomas. "I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas," said his driver. "I'll try," said Thomas, and he puffed humbly away.